Now that all of the Dollar Trees are $1.25, so we could change the name to Dollar Tree and a Branch, it is time to go back and see if they still have great deals on your standard items. Does that 25 cent increase deter you from shopping at the Dollar Tree? For me, it does not. They have not raised their prices in 30 years, more than 30 years. And I still think there are quite a few good deals to be had. Of course, be careful with what you're shopping for because not everything is a good deal just because it's at a discount store. So let's head to Dollar Tree and I'm gonna tell you some of my favorite finds for March of 2022. Before we jump into the deals, I have to tell you one of the funniest things that happened when I first walked in. I walked down this one aisle and I'm thinking, wow, these trash bins are like really high quality for $1.25. And I looked over and I saw all of these sports memorabilia pillows for a place that is not anywhere close to where I am. It ended up being the Dollar Tree Plus section, which I have never had in my teeny tiny little store, not ever. It is now there. So now that I know that everything is like $3, $5, maybe more in some cases, um, it's not the deal that you think it was going to be. So I passed on many of those items. They had University of Texas Longhorn pillows and Dallas Cowboy pillows and Houston Astro pillows. Now I'm very familiar with all of these sports teams because I was born and raised in Texas, so I know them well, but I live in Idaho, a long, long way from Texas. Why are they here in my store? Couldn't say. Where do you live and do you have sports memorabilia that is not from your state in your Dollar Trees? The greeting cards, still an amazing deal. Birthday cards, anniversary cards, my store has them at two for a dollar still for the cheaper ones. And they have a lot of humorous ones. I personally really like the humorous cards instead of the sentimental cards. I prefer laughing instead of crying. I, <laughs> I think that's an amazing deal for a Hallmark card. And in that section, you can also find a six to eight pack of party invitations and thank you cards. So if you just need like a small pack of eight, you don't want to go to Target and get the really expensive like five, six dollars for a pack of party invitation cards, go to Dollar Tree, pick up an eight count for $1.25. Great savings. Now that we are in the like cards, party imitations, gift area, I have always been a fan of the Dollar Tree gift bags. They have a huge variety of styles and sizes for only a dollar. Now that the price has gone up to $1.25, I'm going to retract that original statement because my Walmart has gift bags for 98 cents in a variety of styles and sizes. So Walmart definitely wins on the gift bag situation now that Dollar Tree is up to $1.25 on the gift bags. I feel like we should play a drinking game with this video. Like, how many times do I say Dollar Tree, take a drink? How many times do I say $1.25, take a drink? I'll take a drink. Garden tools are out for the season at Dollar Tree and some of my favorite items to pick up from there are the garden gloves. At only $1.25, you can get multiple pairs because I don't know about you, but I always lose one and then I end up with the left hand and I don't have the right hand. I don't know what's up with that, but if you want spares or if you wanna get your kids up in there with you, just pass like, you get a garden glove and you get a garden glove and everybody gets a garden glove and then everyone can come out and help you weed the weeds in your garden. And also speaking of weeds, please tell me how to get rid of morning glory. Do I have to move? Other gardening tools I really like are the little trowels, like the little spades, and then the little mini uh, garden rakes I think are really fun. One of my favorite things that I found are the decorative plant ties. I have many plants that need to be tied up. I have grapevines, tomato plants, and these little like frog bendy guys are the cutest things ever. They just make me so wildly happy. It, I just think it's gonna be a blast to go out and see my plants and see these little frogs hugging onto my grapevines. If you're into that frog life, like I am, they do have decorative frogs. So if you are over the gnomes, check out the decorative frogs in the garden section. They are wicked cute. I didn't buy any today, but I'm tempted every time I see them. Now, if you wanna practice your juggling, go on over to the pet section and pick up, whoa! the um, pet waste bags. They have a 60 count of pet waste bags for only $1.25, which is half the cost that you can find these 
at Amazon even. And if you do it on Amazon, you're gonna have to wait for them to be shipped to your house. You can go to Dollar Tree and get these today. They have a variety of colors and styles, which I think is pretty cool. And if you don't have a pet, these are excellent for lining small trash cans in your office or bathrooms. The hair brushes at Dollar Tree are surprisingly good for only $1.25. Recently, I was doing a drive to make these uh, donation bags for kids. If their parents have an issue, we were making these for the local hospitals and police departments uh, to give them a bag of items. And one of the items we were doing were hair brushes. So I ran over to Walmart to get the hair brushes and the quality was very poor and the cheapest hairbrush I could find was $2.97 a hairbrush. And I was not really happy with it. So I ran over to Dollar Tree and not only were the brushes bigger, they were nicer quality for less than half the price. If you're doing road trips, one of my favorite things to pick up at the Dollar Tree are the activity books and they have a book for any age. They have coloring books and younger activity books for kids five and under. They have a five to 12 year old range. And if you have some older teenagers like I do, not only do they have crossword puzzles and word finds, they have Sudoku puzzles. I hope I said that right. I've heard it both ways. <laughs> I always run to Dollar Tree and pick up several activity books for the kids to work on in the car. Anywhere else, they're gonna be $3 or higher, literally anywhere else. I went to Walgreens, I went to Walmart, I went to Target, and in some cases, I couldn't even find Sudoku puzzles. Dollar Tree, they just never let me down when it comes to the activity books. I'm in the craft aisle, and I notice they have vinyl paper for like a Cricut machine or a Silhouette machine. Are those different? <laughs> So anyone that has used the vinyl on your Cricut machine, please tell me in the comments, does it work? Is it legit? They had all of the tools. They had the pick thing. They had the scraper. And the one that I did purchase and try out was the roller cutter, the mat cutter. I have a lot of cardboard in my house. I don't know why that is. I guess I just like shopping online. So things arrive and I have cardboard coming out of my ears. And I always have my kids cut it up using like a pair of scissors like, like this. <laughs> but it feels a little dangerous. So I got this roller mat cutter and tried it on my cardboard for $1.25. This is an excellent tool to have in your arsenal. Please go buy it and use it to break down all your boxes. I could not believe how clean and sharp it was able to take apart my cardboard boxes. So even though we're a long way out from Easter and less way out from St. Patrick's Day, all of that stuff is there now. Some of them I think are a really good deal. So let's talk St. Patrick's Day first. I have run multiple St. Patty's Day 5Ks and you're supposed to dress up and Dollar Tree has got you covered. They have socks, hats, scarves, beads that make it look like you're at Mardi Gras, funny glasses, all kinds of green stuff for very inexpensive. Here's some Easter items that I personally love at the Dollar Tree. My favorite, favorite one are the fillable eggs. They have such a variety of sizes and design for you to pick from. I love the animal ones. I love the sport ones. The little speckled eggs are fun. They have big packages of just your standard plain colors. When my kids were smaller, I was invited to do those fillable egg hunts all the time. And so I was always looking for new ones. And then, you know, they always end up breaking every year. You lose some every year. You always need more. Also under the Easter stuff, remember that we got to do the Easter baskets. So some Easter basket items that I really enjoy is the Silly Putty. Dollar Tree has Silly Putty right now. It is so hard to find these days and what a throwback to my childhood. Silly Putty was one of my favorite things to play with like in the car or sitting on the pew at church, trying to listen but not doing very well. Playing with my Silly Putty, I loved it. So I think that's a really fun choice and you cannot go wrong with the sidewalk chalk. Spring is coming, the snow is melting, it's time to get the kids outside. And I love the egg-shaped sidewalk chalk because the kids can't break it into a million pieces. And for only $1.25 for a couple of hours of outside entertainment on the driveway and the sidewalk, what a score. These are awesome to use as pantry organization to keep your chip bags closed. I love things like this and I find that like we kind of lose them all the time so I always need more. You can never have too many chip clips. If you ever go to a place where you need like a to dry your towel or something like that. These work really well for hanging up towels on like railings like this so they don't blow away in the wind. Speaking of clips, I found these magnetic clips. They clip on your refrigerator or I guess anything that's magnetic and then you can open them and hold important papers or coupons or anything like that. 
These are my new favorite thing. They are so strong. I bought them and tested them out on my refrigerator and I could not believe the strength of the magnet and the strength of the clip. I have to go back, buy the rest of them and get rid of all the ones that I have because these are my new absolute favorite refrigerator organization tools. Always a deal at this dollar store is going to be the envelopes. I don't need to buy a package of 500 envelopes for what I need. I just need a few. So to buy a package of 10 or 20 is really the way to go. So I just don't have this crazy excess of things. It's going to take me 15 years to go through. And I just found at the Dollar Tree, the flexible mailers. I love these. If you sell things on Poshmark and things like that, and you need a flexible mailer that doesn't have your old address, like an old Amazon envelope mailer, three for $1.25. So if you don't need a ton of them, this is a great find food containers here's a few items that i found that i love and i have said before the little snack size snap lid containers great great option they're excellent for kids lunches for work lunches i also found a sandwich snap lid a lot like the sistema sandwich snap lids but for much less expensive I did find the snaps to be a little harder to close, but maybe that means they'll just be harder to open as well and won't leak. They do fit a sandwich really nicely, like it's not too small or anything like that. And then I found the snap top lids. These are 6.25 cups in size. The snap lid is very sturdy. These are excellent for meal prep. You can do salad meal prep. You could do lunch meal prep, leftovers. You can meal prep pasta and sauce. Um, I think these are a really great option, so keep your eyes out and see if you can find varying sizes. My store didn't have varying sizes, just the one, the one size, but if you go online, you can always find more than you can find in stores. <laughs> Let's go to our next organization item. I'm very picky with my storage containers, but I found this gray and white plastic storage container that I think is way better quality than almost anything I've ever bought at the Dollar Tree before. So I picked up a few of them, four, and went downstairs to organize my son's bathroom under the sink. I was able to get rid of some of the old ones that were too small or too tall and I couldn't see over them. And they're an excellent size. They're very, very sturdy. And if you want multiple colors, you can always go to Dollar Tree online. They had three colors of this bin online. Obviously you can buy in bulk. So let's say you're looking for 20 of them, but your store only has five. Buying them online is an easy way to get the quantity and variety that you're looking for. In the storage area also found small trash cans. So if you're looking at switching out your bathroom trash cans, office trash cans, you know, cause it's can get gross after a while. For $1.25, it's a great option for something really small that can fit into a tight space. If you're trying to do pantry organization on a budget, they do have these cylinder size, not quite clear, a little opaque, whitish clear. That's a horrible description. <laughs> Pantry organization tools if you want to have one for flour, one for sugar, one for chocolate chips, things like that. Now, I prefer to do my pantry organization differently using bins and not put individual items into individual containers. But if that is what you're looking for and you kind of have a small space and a limited budget, this is a good option to get started. The good old meat masher is one of my favorite kitchen tools that you didn't know you needed. You need this. It, it works better than a wooden spoon. It works better than a spatula when you're like browning meat or sausage or whatever like that. Now I've had mine, I got it from Family Dollar two years ago and it just broke. So when I saw this at Dollar Tree for $1.25, you can be sure I snagged this right up. And look, this one isn't broken. Everyone should go look for this right now. Go purchase it, it will change your life. If you don't wanna wait, for your next dentist appointment to get that free toothbrush because you are supposed to change out your toothbrush like every two to three months. Did you know that? If you haven't, please go to Dollar Tree and pick up a new toothbrush for $1.25 and replace your toothbrush now. Are you being slackers on replacing your toothbrush? Go do it. I saw travel games. It was in the Easter section, but they had guess who? And if you hate your kids, I guess you could pick up Candyland. Um, it's one of the worst games on planet Earth. <laughs> Okay, are we at the food section? My favorite section of the Dollar Tree. I have been looking at the food deals. I am here to tell you what they are, what you should buy and what you shouldn't buy. Here we go. I have long been a fan of the flavored water drinks. The Weiler's Light Pink Lemonade and Strawberry Lemonade are bomb. 
They are $1.25 for eight packets and they are delicioso. You definitely need to try them out. This time I decided to try out the Sunkist. Now this is only six packets instead of eight, so it's not as good of a deal. I got the orange, mango, something, tropical, whatever it is. I made all my family try them. They have a very McDonald's orange punch kind of a flavor, but they're pretty good. If you are looking for an inexpensive water flavoring, you cannot go wrong with Dollar Tree. That being said, Walmart does have the True Lemon for approximately $1.98, and on Ibotta, there's always a 75 cent back, making the True Lemon and True Lime approximately the same price, and by the way, there's 10 packets in those. If you feel comfortable using Ibotta and doing a cashback situation, if you do, the Walmart deal with Ibotta is the better deal, but the Weiler's Pink Lemonade, Strawberry Lemonade is also very good. In the candy section, you do want to look for the one pound candy. They have fruit chews, they have like a sour chew thing. Sometimes they have sour gummies. My store did not have those right now. One thing I did notice is they had the twin snakes. If you've never had the twin snakes, my kids adore the twin snakes. So if you want to give them a go for only $1.25 for a smaller package, feel free to do that. The candy is very hit or miss because the packages are so small. A lot of the time they're not a deal, but if you can get your hands on those one pound packages, go for it. I've said it before and I will say it again, do not, do not buy the Cheetos mac and cheese. It is garbaggio. None of my kids would touch it. They said it was disgusting. And because my Dollar Tree has had this specialty item for like six months, it's clear no one else is buying it either. But what I did see was the Tapatio ramen. And anytime I see Tapatio, I feel like we need to try it. Is it a deal? Hard to say, but it is in individual containers and it has Tapatio in it. So I feel like it's already a win. So I bought four flavors and we taste tested all of them. The shrimp one, delicious. The broth, delicious. The three original flavors, like uh, chicken, shrimp, and original, not spicy, just a little warm feeling. And the extra spicy was more spicy, but definitely, it was not extra spicy, okay? If you eat spicy food ever, you'll be like, oh, it tingles a little, but it is not that bad. The only thing I don't love is the texture of the noodles in the cup. I just don't like it as much as cooking it on the stove like with a regular ramen packet. One of my favorite things at the Dollar Tree has always been their one pound package of oatmeal, which I have not been able to find for months. So I don't know if they stopped carrying it, but what I do still have is the one pound package of grits, which is still a deal and I still recommend you buy it. In my area, of the great, great north, very, very far from any southern state, it is difficult to find grits, period, and they're all expensive. So to find them for $1.25 is still a deal. Okay, let's jump back to that oatmeal. So even though they don't have the one pound package, they do have the boxes of the packets. Do not buy those at Dollar Tree. There are only six packets in that box. Any other store in any other brand is going to have 10 packages instead of six, so you're looking at almost a double. In fact, two of my local grocery stores had Quaker and store brand both on sale for 99 cents a box for 10 packets and like a dollar 27 a box for Quaker for 10 packets. Other awesome deals is still gonna be the two pound bag of brown rice. With the price raise, it is very close to Walmart. So if you are already at Walmart, go ahead and pick up your two pounds of brown rice. But Dollar Tree is still cheaper at the moment. Sometimes Dollar Tree gets uh, overstock from a store of something that didn't sell very well in huge sizes. And at my store, guess what I just found? Family size Dunkaroos. This is almost 21 ounce box of cereal. It is enormous. There were cases and cases and cases in the aisle, like they were unboxing it at the moment. I saw an end cap full of it. $1.25 a box for a family size box of cereal. I realize that you're basically eating cookies for breakfast, but at that price, I will feed my kids cookies for breakfast. That's kind of a joke. I mean, not really, but it kind of is. I like sarcasm. Also, the Dunkaroos, were kid approved in my household. Up next, I saw these like knock off Teddy Grahams in the snack and cracker aisle. They had a honey flavor and a birthday cake flavor. The birthday cake flavor was a smaller size box and the honey flavor was a larger bag, but both kid approved by my kids. Uh, so feel free to purchase those for $1.25 if you really love those Teddy Grahams but don't wanna pay Teddy Graham prices. Last but not least on the food aisle, they do have multiple flavors of peeps 
Easter is coming and if your Walmart runs out really, really quickly, don't forget to check out your Dollar Tree so you can get those peeps for your kids' Easter baskets. They have the craziest flavors this year, like totally crazy. Birthday cake, coffee flavor, hot tamale flavor, watermelon, like what happened to the original flavor? Are they good? Are they not? I will be researching that in a future video. But they do have peeps if you're on the hunt, feel free to pick them up there. Of all the items I listed today, which was your favorite? Which items have you seen at your Dollar Tree that you think are an amazing deal? Let us know down below so people know what else to look for. Have you tried the crazy peep flavors? I would really like to know if they are worth it or not. Thanks for joining me today and happy Dollar Tree shopping. I can't do it, it's too far. <clears throat>